There has been a lot of talk about private servers recently. Most private servers of Ragnarok Online say that what they are doing is not illegal because they are using an emulator and that they are not selling the service. They claim they simply accept donations, but is that true? Is it true that what they are doing is not illegal? Well, they are using Gravity's intellectual property. So to better understand this topic, we have to dig a little deeper and talk not only about legal rights in the USA or Korea, but international law. Hello everyone, I'm Game Citizen, and today I want to talk about whether or not private servers of Ragnarok are illegal. As you might know, in the past few months, many private servers decided to close down. This is all happening because Gravity, together with Warp Portal, decided to attack private servers. And look, they are smart. Their strategy was to focus on the biggest boy in the community, Novaro. That alone had a cascade effect. Ancient servers like Talonro closed already. I don't know why they closed, maybe they were contacted by Gravity, but they closed already. And that was an ancient server. Solace also closed. Smaller, nice servers like Retro also closed. The interesting thing is that, as far as I know, the only one that is actually being sued by Gravity is Novaro. And it's the only one that is still up and running. I mean, of the big ones. And not only that, Novaro is hiring new staff. Is it because some staff members decided to jump off the boat? And by the way, I do not recommend working on Novaro, especially right now. This would be a horrible thing to do right now. Don't do it. They are getting sued by Gravity. Either way, if you want to get informed about what's happening, you won't get news about Nova Ro in Nova Ro's forum or their own Discord. You have to use Reddit or Rate My Server forum, and that's how I get informed. I mean, we complain about Warp Portal, we complain about Gravity, but even private servers, many times, the people who manage them, they keep us in the dark, and it's not nice. Now is not a good time for private servers. I have already done a video complaining about this, but this video will be different. In this video, I want to talk specifically about the legality of private servers. First, let me start by saying that playing on a private server is not illegal. Also, making videos or streaming your game on Twitch is not illegal. At most, Gravity can ask Twitch or YouTube to take down your streaming or your video. And the reason they can do that is because you're playing their game. The game, Ragnarok Online, in all its versions, belongs to Gravity. This means that the scripts of pouring belong to Gravity. The sound effects of the pouring belong to Gravity. Even the name pouring, if used in the game, is likely to belong to Gravity. Remember a few years ago, Nintendo shutting down videos on their own games? They could do that because of the exact same reasons. Many private servers of Ragnarok used Athena, which is an emulator of Ragnarok. This means that the coding used in Athena is not exactly the same as the one used by official Ragnarok servers. Athena is open source, just like most emulators. Emulators themselves are not illegal. What can be illegal is to play a game you do not own in an emulator. But this varies wildly between countries. And here is the crux of the matter. The most important point that everyone seems to overlook when we talk about laws. Laws are not universal. Each country has their own laws. International laws are broken all the time because there's no such a thing as an international government to enforce them. Until some years ago, China was known for making cheap copies of branded products. Indeed, China didn't respect copyrights too much. This has changed nowadays, but that allowed China to develop an internal industry. And before you start judging China, know that Switzerland did the exact same thing. Many, many years ago, countries around Switzerland, like Germany, they had all the industries. And they had the copyrights, and this prevented the growth of the industry in Switzerland. All I'm saying here is that copyright is not necessarily good for all countries. Things are messy. What this means for Ragnarok is that if you live in the United States and you have a private server operating in the USA, then you are in a potential problem. This is because of two main factors. First, the most important, is that Gravity has Warp Portal distributing the game in the USA. They have a right to monopoly over the distribution of the game. This means that if you want to set up a private server, it would be easier if you lived in a country without an official distributor of Ragnarok Online. Gravity herself admits that it is hard to go after private servers because many of them are hosted in countries where they do not have any representation. It is much easier for them to go after the private servers hosted in countries where they already have relations with lawyers. And what is crazy about Novaro is that they decided to make a company 
established in California, the same state where War Portal is established. The second reason is that even if Gravity didn't have an official server for the USA, or even if War Portal didn't exist, the USA and South Korea they have good relations and they tend to enforce each other's copyrights. The thing is that each country has their own constitution. When it comes to copyright laws, most countries follow the USA. So changes in the American laws have an impact all over the world. It is good for a country to have similar copyright laws to the United States. This facilitates commerce of copyrighted products, especially entertainment stuff like movies and games. But, and we have to make this very clear, each country has its own autonomy. The most basic convention in international law is the respect for other countries' autonomy. Remember Julian Assange? He was a refugee in the embassy of Ecuador in London. This didn't mean that England ceased all negotiations with Ecuador. For example, if an American does a crime in South Africa and returns to the USA, then it's up to the USA to extradite the criminal or not. International law is something very tricky. This means that if you host a private server in a country that does not enforce copyright laws, then you are in a safe haven. Now, you might think that only countries like Russia or North Korea would do such a thing. Well, that is not true. Small countries tend to be where most financial crimes happen. It is good for rich people in the USA or Europe to have a country like Panama, where they can operate outside the legislation of their own country. But even if you host a private server in such a country, nothing guarantees that laws won't change, that international relations won't change, and that gravity could eventually go after you. So, to answer the question, are private servers of Ragnarok Online illegal? In most countries, yes. And Gravity has been hunting down private servers recently precisely to enforce their copyright. According to the current laws in the USA, if you don't enforce your copyright for too many years, it opens a possibility for others to rightfully use your product. Copyright laws are something very tricky, and they are always changing, especially when Disney needs the law to change. When it comes to international copyright laws, then things get even trickier. Nowadays, I only play on official servers. It has been many years that I've been only playing on official servers. And the main reason is because I prefer to play on a server that I think will keep existing for many years. Gravity has the power to shut down private servers. Even if they don't have such a power, people get afraid. I mean, I would be afraid if I were running a private server. One thing is for Disney to break a copyright law. I'm not Disney. And none of us are. Not even the people be behind Nova Row are. And look, it's not really about the money. It's not that Nova Row is getting too much money out from Ragnarok. It's, it's not much. Gravity is, is only enforcing their right for their intellectual property. These are dark times for the private server community. The future of online gaming is embracing modders, letting people easily create mods for your game and letting them run their own servers. Rust is like this, the Rising is like this, Minecraft is like this. But gravity is enchained in old habits. Believe it or not, the people working on official servers, like the people working War Portal, actually like the game, but they are limited by gravity. Although I don't play, nor do I recommend playing on private servers, what gravity is doing harms the community, the whole community. So it harms me too, as a member of the community of people who love this old game called Ragnarok Online. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope it helped to clarify a little bit. Also, if I had said something that's wrong, please write in the comments what you think about this. And I can be wrong about this, mostly I only know laws about South America, Brazil in specific, since I'm Brazilian. And laws here in England, but the laws here in England they are very similar to the laws in the United States. So, but anyway, maybe I'm wrong, so I'm happy to be corrected if you know more about this. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day in Midgard.